Father, we thank you. Thank you for this wonderful day. To see your mighty hand upon our nation. Today, church, we would like to take this opportunity to pray for our nation as we worship God. Lift up your nations before God. Lift up your nations to Him. Begin to pray for your nation. Pray for your city. Because when God's kingdom is established, you can really see the mighty hand of God moving. No matter, no matter how bad the situation can be. You can see God's hand. Just as what we have seen now even in our own nation. Oh, I tell you, God is moving. God is already moving. You can even see the work of the Holy Spirit in the lives of people. You can see the work of the Holy Spirit in our leaders. Oh, you can even see the work of the Holy Spirit in the situation. Oh, Father, I thank you. It is truly days of heaven here on the earth. This day, declare it. Days of heaven. Touched by the power of God. Touched by His love. All nations rise. Before the King of Kings.
down the presence of God. Ask God to come down and sweep over the, across the nation. I tell you, in this in this few weeks, how we have seen God's mighty hand. How he engineered situation. Sometimes with our natural eyes, we don't see things happening. But you know when the people of God begin to rise up and pray. When the church begin to rise up and pray. Pray prevailing prayer. And continue to pray until we see results. Oh, I tell you, angels are moving. Angels are being assigned. In the different parts of the land. You know, you you can really see God's mighty hand. In Malaysia, all things are happening. That's why the people of God, all across the earth, rise up in the name of Jesus. Because God is coming to your nation. God is coming to your city. Anything that is not right in your city, God is going to arrest the situation. Anything that is evil, anything that is wicked, God is going to come down and arrest the situation. Oh, people of God, ask the Spirit of God to come. Begin to declare the decree of God. Declare the word of God upon your city. Declare the word of God upon your nation. Because God is moving. Oh, we declare one more time. All nations rise. All nations rise before the King.
Thank you, Lord. It is truly the age of righteousness. 感谢主，这是公义的时代。The days of heaven is already here on the earth. 天堂的日子已经临到了地上。All for nations to change. 那个万国要改变。It is by the Spirit of God. 乃是借着神的圣灵。Oh, Karabashada Barakana, just take this few moments to begin to pray. I pray that each one of us will carry that fire of revival in our hearts. Carry that heart for your nation. Carry that heart for the city. I know there's many of you who's really praying for your nation. And sometimes you may see that you know what is God doing? I don't see anything that's happening. But I can tell you without a shadow of doubt, as we pray before Him. God is already doing something. Just open your eyes and see. Open your eyes and see the future. Oh, people of God, rise up today. It is truly the days of heaven here on the earth. It is the days of the open heaven. Oh, Jesus. Thank you.
马来西亚本来是被这个乌云盖遮盖着的神说我的荣耀要降临在马来西亚我的荣耀将要来到的降临在马来西亚充满马来西亚我们神的指明我们要抓紧神的话语在马来西亚有盼望有希望神的与我们同在神与我们同在没有什么事是难成的哈利路
We pray, O oh Father God, that your Holy Spirit will begin to move across the nations of the world, O oh Father God. Bring healing, bring restoration, O oh Father God. Bring reformation, O oh Father God, in the city, in the, in the nation, O oh Father God. Now we pray, O oh Father God, that well, oh Father God, that the, the, the community, the leaders will begin to rise up to say, yes, we're going to build this nation together. We're going to see whatever devastation that has been, been created by anything, O oh Father God. We pray that the healing will take place even right now. Father, we pray for every broken family to be restored. We pray for every, oh Father God, people who have been affected by the disease, oh Father God, by the virus. Father, restore their life, oh Father God. We pray, oh Father God, that the nation will rise up back to its feet, oh Father God, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, right, right now, we can see the wave and wave of revival is coming and hitting yes. every nation, oh God. There's a revival in the spirit. There's a revival of the word begin to take place, oh God. Father, we pray, oh Father God, that we shall not turn to the left or to the right, oh Father God, seeking for answer, but just to, to put our focus onto you, oh Lord Jesus, because you have the answer. You have the hope. You have the way, oh Father God. So Father, we pray right now, everyone who is listening to this worship, rise up in your spirit. Yeah. Stir your spirit right now because God is doing something in your life. Again, you are not insignificant, but you are significant in the eyes of God. You can create the change in your community. You can change the atmosphere of your community. You just need to declare it to the heavens. You just need to declare it to the spirit and the whole city will come into the process of restoration right now in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you that the wind is blowing. The wind is blowing right now. The wind is blowing right now, causing such a oh, Father God, such a, 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 a wind of life is getting to take place in the in the in the city, in the nation. Or does the, the wind of death is passing by because the wind of life is taking over the nation right now? We pray right now and declare the wind of the spirit is going to take place where there is liberty, there is freedom, there is life. When the word is being released, the word of God will be brought to that place and we'll, be, we'll, we'll find accomplishment in Jesus' mighty name. So right now, I pray and prophesy. I call upon prophets. I call upon, uh, upon apostles. I call upon preachers. I call upon those who can teach. I call upon those who have the desire to, to lead the community. Right now, rise up. Rise up in your spirit and come and come and build the nation well in Jesus' mighty name. Do not be oppressed. Do not be fearful. Do not be intimidated because you have the answer in Jesus' mighty name. Right now, open your eyes as far as you can see beyond yourself. You can bless many nations. You can bless many communities because the God that is in you is greater than the one who is in the world in Jesus' mighty name. Just seek Draw it from your, draw the well from your spirit right now. Draw the well from your spirit because it's gonna overflow. It's gonna overflow. It's gonna overflow. It touch many lives around you. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you. We thank you, oh God, and the nation is rising up. The nation is rising up right now. Oh God, in spite and despite of oh Father God the situation that we are in now, we believe you are doing something. We believe you are in control in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Rabba Bashek, me Adalamaso. Brother Trevor, in the prayer, I see this vision. I see our Malaysia's map. Malaysia's map. I see God's light shining here. Shining here, go Malaysia's way. This light will shine, shine to you. Shine to you, go to the other side. Go to the sea, go to the sea. Yes, Lord, we thank you. 光来照耀这个马来西亚，你的国度已降临在我们马来西亚的主啊！主我们感谢，我们赞美你主啊！哦主，你就是我们的盼望，就是民的盼望主啊！哦有属神的国家，民是有福的，这个国家是有福。哈利路亚！主我们感谢，我们赞美，我们马来西亚将会是立向加立，荣上加荣。马来西亚将会是不一样，哈利路亚！他要回归神的命定，哦，他是属神的，哈利路亚！感谢赞美主。马来西亚将会是不一样。哈利路亚，哈利路亚。Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the wind of the Spirit. 天父，感谢你圣灵的灵风。That is sweeping across our land. 哦，在吹向着我们这个土地。As we were worshiping just now. 当我们刚才在敬拜的时候。I can really feel the wind of God blowing. 
Even in a vision, I saw the wind of God just blowing across the land of Malaysia. It is a very fresh, a fresh wind of God. It is like when you stand in a very large place and then you feel the wind blowing across your face. It is so refreshing. It's like you can take a deep breath. And you can feel the kind of peace, a kind of release. Oh God is moving across this land. And there's one word that keeps coming back. The land below the wind. The land below the wind. God is blowing His breath across that land. And God is blessing that land. God's breath is upon His people. And the revival is going to spark from that place. All the hearts of the people, they're going to, they're going to feel such a refreshing coming, rising up from their spirit. The sense of hope, the sense of joy, there will be dancing in the streets because God is there. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you are moving across the land. Oh, Jesus. Just now in prayer, as Brother David have seen a vision that the wind is blowing. I can see as I look up upon heaven, the city made of gold coming down, coming down on every nation. It's like an it's on a cloud that's coming down yes. upon the nation. Yep. I can see that this is happening in every nation. And it's resting upon a hill. And I begin to ask God, what is this law that you are showing to us? What is, what is this law that you are giving it to our vision? Because every vision that God is, is, is giving to us, there is a purpose, there is a plan. Then this is His plan. Every time when we look up onto the hill, onto that mountain where the city is at, people will see hope. People will see life. People will see direction. People will see that they, the future is brighter. And they will want to go into it. God is taking over. God is taking control. So do not worry. As we lift up our eyes towards that city and move towards that city, right now, I can feel in my spirit, I can sense in my spirit at this moment of time, that there more and more people are gathered in that city. Yes. They're catching up that wind. Yep. Previously, when, 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 when we were worshipping in one night, I saw many, many, many people have, are gathered. Those people I do not know. There are people whom I know, but there are people whom I do not know. And God was spoke, speaking to them. When, as He speaks, like, as though as the Spirit of God coming out from His mouth and resting, Upon each life, he said, "This is where you need to go. This is the domain that I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna lead you into. And this is my spirit. This is the provision. Every word that he speak upon the person that has been sent out is enough. That is the sustenance. That is the provision. That is the, the direction, the guidance that's gonna be enough for them to finish the assignment that God has in store for them. So this time when you are worshiping God, like what." Brother David, I mentioned just now, open your eyes because God is showing you a new vision. God is showing a new, a new plane. God is showing you a, a, a pathway that you're going to walk into. We are not going to compete with one another. We are not going to say that I'm, I have greater grace, but each and every one of us carry a certain grace to finish strong. Yeah. 
God has brought us together as one body to finish God's plan and purpose here on the earth is to establish God's kingdom here on the earth as it is in heaven so that's the thing today as we worship God I saw that that city that has been rested has come down from heaven and rested upon the mountain so right now as you look upon God as you look upon the city have hope in your heart because God have planned for something great for your city something great for your nation and God is choosing you as you hear this voice as you hear these words if you if there's something stirring in your heart say yes Lord I'm gonna follow I'm gonna take my assignment and go all the way all the way to as far as I can go in Jesus mighty name I prophesy into your life right now as you hear God's voice as you as there's a stirring in your spirit let God reveal to you let there be a many many revelation coming to you but more than that let there be understanding to understand that revelation that God is giving to you that you you will you will direct your path according to it you direct your feet according to it and say this is what I'm gonna do I'm so clear this is the first thing I'm gonna do the second thing I'm gonna do the third thing I'm gonna do the third fourth thing I'm gonna do the fifth thing I'm gonna do let that five stone be in your pocket let that five stone be in your pocket and deal with with it Goliath in your city bring down the giant in your city you are a giant slayer you can do it I know you can do it because that's the God that is in us if you believe that in your heart right now so I prophesy this to you let David arise in your nation let Daniel arise in your nation let Joseph arise in your nation to bring down the power of hell in your nation in Jesus mighty name oh hallelujah we thank you oh God that this is the new the new city that you have been giving to us the pattern city that as we see the city we will build according to it oh hallelujah more and more our spirit are rejoicing because more and more are beginning beginning to add, be added into the city and more and more are being sent, sent out you said you are alone in the city you are not alone there are many more like you who are stronger who are better who are, who are mightier so there's an army of God in your nation if you rise up right now and say yes Lord you will lead that generation in Jesus mighty name hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah